all right guys welcome back to another royce rider video so today we're gonna be going to a nation festival they invited me we're gonna go check it out and see what's gonna be over there You barely have a little bit. What made you make t-shirts? So I had a project last year in one of my classes to make a business and build it up from there. So I was kind of confused on what to do since I just changed my major to art. I was a forensic major before and my teacher was like, well, you love art, you love music, why don't you combine both? So I did K-pop and rock. I script at the designs, I do my designs myself. If I do lyrics, I don't quote them exactly because that would be a copyright issue. So I just do my own little thing. So what is it about? Like, can you like uh, show one? And what is it about your t-shirts? Yeah, so like this one, I mostly focus on BTS. I have like 180s. Mm -hmm. So this is my K-pop side. This is more inspired of Jungkook's concept photos that came out for his album. And I made it a little more Halloween-ish because Halloween's around the corner. Oh yes, it's around the corner. So like basically your uh, shirts are inspiring an artist? Yeah, so it's either the artist itself or the music. Or the music. Like, yes. Okay, wow. And plan on like making it like bigger, or, like you're just right now, like you're just um, no, it's like you know, just a little small business. I do want to make it bigger, bigger. but slowly I'm just still building up. You're I'm doing a bunch up. of markets. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday I did the development market. Mm -hmm. I'm just I have the Hong Kong festival at the end of the month also. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. What is that about? Like the Hong Kong? What, what? So it's. The Asian Times Square in Grand Prairie mm -hmm. has their anniversary oh, every single okay. year, so just focusing on that. Mm -hmm. I'll be there three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, okay, so you're gonna be there excited. Are yeah. you excited? <laughs> so it all started with your talent of art. Like, you have always liked art. Yeah, I've been doing art since fourth grade. I just never, I didn't go to college for it because I didn't, my whole family, you know, uh, didn't really like to see art as a career instead of art teacher. So I decided to like change my major my first year. I was a forensics and it was not for me. <laughs> So I just did what I wanted to do. I went back to art. I found my way back. Did you ever do like paint this like with watercolor, or it was just basically like colored pencils and crayons? Well, like when I was smaller, it was mostly like colored pencils, and I slowly built my way up. In high school, I found printmaking, which is like I see it as like a stamp you can use in over and over and over again. Yes. And until college, I found this technique called screen printing. Mm -hmm. So this is what usually what a lot of people do for shirts. Oh, wow. yeah. So like that's screen printing. Okay, so what is your Instagram? Yeah, it's just vicious.creatures. Vicious.creatures? Yeah. Okay. This one is uh, from uh, Portuguese. Oh my it's god, a Portuguese drink. Yes, uh, passion fruit is very good uh, fruit. It's very popular and we actually have more actual pulp fruit in there than everybody else that makes uh, it's from here or from Mexico. We have more fruit in there and it's very good too. It's, uh, we have different flavors mango peach guava passion fruit chili fruity and we have pear so yeah. delicious so are, delicious yes are those uses is it like this glass bottle is it a use or? yeah we have the glass bottle and then we have the one liter we don't have it here but if you go to central market if you go to fiesta mart heb mostly all the grocery stores in texas carry our products i haven't like seen them like yeah. or maybe i just passed through there yeah. but when i yeah. saw this here i was like yeah. oh my god it sounds like it looks delicious it is, it it looks, is. It's like if you try it you can try it i'll give it a try yeah. this is the mango like you can you can finish it this is the mango one this is the yeah compound mango okay um i'll get a little cup it's, it's only a little bit in there, so you can drink it. Let us know what, what you think. Okay, so we're gonna pour it here. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna taste it. It's very delicious, right? It is like natural mango. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god, it does. It tastes so like if you were in the store yeah. and you see this Inca Cola, buy them. Yeah. Buy them. It tastes super mango, like real fruitiness. Thank like, you. No. Like, you know, sometimes they taste like, um, they added like a lot of concentrated, yeah. but this one is natural. The owners uh, of this company, mm -hmm. they go to different countries and they buy the mango from wherever the mango, where the best mangoes yeah. are. Mm -hmm. They go to, uh, uh -huh. for example, Mexico has one of the best peaches. Yes. So we buy peaches uh -huh. from Mexico, but it's, it's still made in Portugal <gasps> with different oh fruits from different worlds. 
Okay, how long have you been working in this uh, 22 business? years. 22 years? For Inca Cola. I've been Inca Cola 22 years. And you always go like to um, events to promote? Yeah, it? we have uh, Peruvian events and we have this event like you, you see today. We were here yesterday and today. And uh, we do a lot of events, grand openings, anniversaries for the retailers. And so, yeah, we're everywhere. Oh my God. We support our community and we support our, our business. Wow, this is so interesting. Coming yeah, from yeah. other places and it's yeah. so delicious. Yeah, well, oh I'm glad God. you like it. Yes, okay, so, um, like, uh, I hope I see you on another event oh, because yeah. this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> or, I Thank hope you. I see Inca Cola in another you will. event. Yeah, you will. <laughs> So, so that was it for the video so make sure you subscribe to the channel get the video like and comment down below what else you're gonna see and see you till next time